hi people welcome back to my youtube channel thank you all for the subscription kindly continue subscribing and liking and sharing the videos let's learn m and a let's do some practical m and a you need for your jobs and references and uh yeah continue and learn uh, so in today's video we're going to look at how to manage uh m and a activities in only six steps you only need six steps Way to manage your monitoring and evaluation activities. Um, uh, step number one, identify your program goals and uh, objectives. Yeah, you can look at uh, always as an M&E personnel, you have the project uh, document or pro program document that has its goals and objectives. And in there is where you come up with the outcomes, the indicators and also activities that feed into uh, achieving the stated objectives and also monitoring and evaluating the indicators and the stated uh, uh, outcome indicators or output indicators. Uh, step number two, you define your indicators. If you set a goal or objective or outcome for the particular project, then uh, definitely define your indicator. Let's say, um, uh, maybe I'm uh, running a schools project and uh, the objective is to have uh, uh, to have uh, maybe 40 schools in uh, planted uh, having uh, to have 40 schools that have uh, uh, energy uh, cooking stoves that is uh, to promote energy conservation in us and now what in the schools and uh, and maybe uh, in that activity i'm going to clearly define the indicator and the indicator will be like uh maybe 40 uh energy saving stops installed in the 40 schools yeah then step number three you define your data collection methods and uh, timeline you use to so in uh, defining that if the activity has been implemented you're actually going to find out uh what am i going to actually use to find uh that on whether this activity has been uh, implemented and what tools am I going to to use in this case maybe I can define that my uh, data collection tool I'm going to use is uh, the interview kit I'll interview the teachers may be responsible for this project and uh, maybe some learners and uh, for the learners maybe I will use some questionnaires to answer or interview them yeah still an interview guide or kit about uh, how the project has uh, helped them in any way in the energy conservation and then uh, I set the timeline that uh, this activity maybe is going to take me two days yeah also define your timeline step number four you identify your M&E roles and responsibilities so you define the activity you define its indicators you define the data collection method you're going to use and the timeline uh, then you identify who is going to be responsible for this activity. Will it be uh, will it be the field staff? Will it be me, the M and E manager? Yeah, you define. You identify and uh, you attach responsibilities as maybe I as the M and E uh, officer will be responsible to manage the data collection in these schools, and the data officers will collect the data and also enter enter the data, and then uh, I'll be responsible for analyzing the data and reporting yeah uh, step number five create an analysis plan and reporting templates so this is all planning and managing your, your monitoring and evaluation activities so before all all this in your planning process you already know you're going to have to analyze this data so you create an analysis plan how this data is actually going to be analyzed will i use uh software different software as either spss or Stata or Excel or R or Power BI, yeah, and uh, what are exactly are going to be the reporting templates? So, you design those templates. This is the template you're going to use for reporting, and this is uh, maybe the template you're going to use for the data analysis. So, the SPSS window or Stata or Excel, this is it. So, you define basing on what already from the you identified goal, objective, or objective, uh, either outcome indicators or in output indicators data collection method all these feed into your analysis plan and reporting templates then after that yeah you've done your activities you prepare for dissemination and uh, donor reporting 
so you've done your analysis uh, you've uh, inputted your data into your reporting uh, templates uh, you've done your reports so you just prepare for dissemination which is uh, you presenting your work to your donors maybe if the findings from the from your monitoring and evaluation activities and uh, reporting on them and then uh, making decisions and uh, basing on what you've evaluated from the project, right? It, uh, where it is, what you've learned, what are any recommendations? Yeah, so that's it today in managing M&A activities. In just six steps, you can manage M&A activities successfully and and uh, improve your projects. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel continue sharing the videos and that has been it thank you uh, and just one last one I I'm doing uh, SPSS training those who are interested it has a it's small fee of uh, $33 only that's a promotional fee so yeah you can reach out to me and uh, tap on the link below to register for the course thank you Thank you again and uh, yeah, like, share and subscribe.